What's up, you bunch of GP? I am at Wavre, about a half hour outside of Brussels at Walibi, Belgium. Uh, this is the biggest park in uh, Belgium. They have one of the newest roller coasters here in Europe called Kanda, an intimate multi-looping coaster. Excited to ride that. Uh, the park is super busy. The parking lot was also full, so I ended up finding a free public parking lot about a 20 minute walk from the park entrance so wasn't bad had a nice little scenic walk through a quaint little wafra town and now i'm here ready to ride so let's do it So I just got off Pulsar, which is a mock multi-launch water coaster. Uh, we've been looking forward to this model coming to America for a while. They announced one, I believe in 2019, the pandemic held everything up. And now the good people of Texas have been looking at a track that's been built for a while and still waiting for an opening. But uh, I have good news for you. You guys in Texas are gonna love this ride. So Six Flags Over Texas has one of these coming called Aquaman. Uh, the launches feel more powerful than they look. Uh, going over the airtime hill in the center of the track actually does lift you out of your seat. So you get good little pops of airtime, nice strong feeling from the launches, and then a great little spray of water. Uh, you know, since it was already uh, a little chilly today, I decided to wear my, my rain jacket. So I'm a little protected, but I got a nice little spray in the face. Good ride. Looking forward to this one coming to America in 2023. Psyka Underground. This a, uh, has some history to it. It was a Schwarzkopf flywheel launched shuttle coaster that opened in 1982 uh, but in 1999 they enclosed the center loop because of noise concerns so they put the center loop inside of a building which was cool and unique and then in 2013 gerstlauer came in gave them new trains and took off the original flywheel launch and installed an lsm launch uh, it's a fun ride. I, I love that the whole thing is enclosed, including the spikes on both ends are in little tunnels. Um, it's got a cool theming. It's dark in there, but has some colorful lighting. And there's even a little cartoon that plays when the operators are ready to send you. Uh, it kind of makes it look like the cartoons are the ones that are sending you on the ride. So, thumbs up. On to the next ride.
so I've just ridden uh, Tiki Baka, which was a 2018 addition to the park, uh, Gerslauer bobsled coaster. First time I've ridden this model. It's got twists and turns, simple up and down dips. It's like a medium thrill coaster, good for the whole family. They put in some really good family attractions here in the park uh, to kind of eat up these, uh, these guests that are everywhere, which is a good thing. So good on you, Wallaby Belgium. So I just finished a daytime ride. Well, technically several daytime rides on Conda. Definitely going up near the top of my rankings. I think it outdoes Pantheon, which I just rode a few times this past year by just a little bit. Incredibly comfortable Intamin trains, fast operations, partially thanks to those trains and thanks to a great crew. The drop goes almost vertical as it's coming off of the chain lift and then twists very quickly. So you get thrown out of your seat and then while you're out of your seat, especially in the back, then you get thrown in some laterals. So really dope, unique drop uh, into a huge, just sustained ejector airtime hill. I mean, the, the amount of sustained ejector on this ride is pretty awesome. Um, goes into an outer banked airtime hill, which I think uh, gives the one on Steel Vengeance a run for its money, for sure. Uh, then it hits this strange element. I'm not even sure what they're calling it. It's kind of like an inside out Cobra roll, meaning that it, it rolls the opposite way going into and out of the roll. That's dope. So it really felt like some kind of a snake or a lizard or a reptile, whatever Conda is supposed to be. Love that ride. That's definitely gotta be one of the best here in Europe. And uh, can't wait for you guys to get out here and try it out.
So I just did Cobra, uh, which is their Vacoma boomerang. It was okay, middle of the road kind of boomerang. I mean, I've ridden, I think 16 of those models in different parks around the world. It's one of the most commonly cloned roller coaster everywhere, so. Um, I also rode Vampire, which is their Vacoma SLC. That one was pretty smooth. That's one of the better SLCs I've been on. And is also in a great setting, um, in a very dark corner of the park all by itself. Uh, it goes through a lot of trees and a little forested area. So I literally saw nothing as we just kept inverting and moving around. And luckily, like I said, it was very smooth. I think my head only touched the side of the over the shoulder one time lightly. And it's the soft kind anyway. Whereas with that boomerang, the trains have the very hard over the shoulders. So, uh, not bad for the clone models. So I just got off Loop Guru, Werewolf. Um, I think that's the first Vacoma wooden coaster that I've ever ridden. And you know, other than a couple of moments that were a little bouncy and uh, some trouble in the turns, it was pretty smooth. And I came out of my seat a number of times. So it has some good airtime moments. I think the biggest trouble with the turns is it has three row cars, which is, you know, very old school. Most of the new wooden trains are, uh, you know, single row articulated, just allows them to turn a lot easier. So it was definitely struggling going around some turns, you're getting bounced around a little bit, but a good Woody. Just the fact that I was out of my seat so much made it fun and one of the best rides here. So gotta love that wooded night. Calamity Mine at night. Oh, this was so cool. One of the coolest mine trains I've ever been on. It's a Vacoma design, custom mine train. What's really unique about it is that it has two lifts. So it starts with a full lift that takes you up through what looks like a mine shaft into the middle of a mountain. It's really well themed. There's rock work everywhere. The track looks like real train track like railroad ties. It's very reminiscent of what Vacoma did for Disney at Big Thunder Mountain. But this is a lot taller, has bigger drops and faster turns. It's a little more thrilling than Big Thunder Mountain with all the same theming. Um, another thing that's unique about it is, you know, the, you, you get halfway through the layout and you get to a second lift. So you take the second lift up and do a whole nother circuit which is awesome. So really well done, mine train. Uh, I didn't really expect this. Well done. <laughs> One thing that's very different about these European parks than the ones in America, you pay for the parking at the end of the day, on the way out. Um, in American parks, you tend to have some type of a toll plaza and you get charged for parking when you come in. Uh, the problem with this system here in Europe is that sometimes it can take a long time to get out of the park. Here, I'll show you what I mean right now. But that's it for this adventure, guys. I had a lot of fun at Willibby, Belgium tonight. But I'm out. So for GP Coasters, I'm Gooch. 
and I'll see you in the next adventure. <laughs>